shows, they wear open for business, that we're, you know, excited to get people back in and out and about and try to put some normalcy back. Uh, I think our businesses are looking forward to trying to get us back to a, a, a normal schedule and, and get invited. So, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about it. The announcement, I mean, the music lineups. I mean, what's better in Columbia than being outside, listening to live music in a historic, iconic village? There really is nothing better than that. Now, during your inauguration, you emphasize we're back to business. Columbia is open for business. Is this kind of an introduction that we can get used to here in the Midlands? I, you know, if I could walk around with a big sign that says, yes, we're open, uh, open is our theme. Open is about business. It's open about innovation. You know, we want information. We, we're open to new ideas. We want to be open to all citizens and all communities. We want to make sure that, that, that everybody understands that open is where we're moving forward, how we're moving forward, and, and openness includes everybody. Now, you know, they just had the recent announcement of a local business, not in the, in the Columbia, but in the area, that had to close due to uh, uh, supply chain issues and obstacles. Even though we're open, how do, what do you, what do you, how do you express that to businesses around the area that are experiencing those challenges that are forcing them to close? Well, we're going to continue to work with them and figure out what uh, what what other avenues that we can help them. There's so many programs, so many opportunities today that we didn't have a year ago or two years ago. Um, just coming back from Washington, talking with the Secretary of Commerce and Treasury, small business programs that are being uh, funded and opportunities there. We just got to make sure that we're getting the information to people and helping guide them so that they can st continue to stay open. That means if they're growing, they're hiring, and they're staying here. Now, I know you just answered a lot of questions in regards to the pandemic and a lot of people gathering today. Uh, we just spoke with uh, Mr. Cook and he said they're anticipating 30,000 people at this event. What do you say in regards to those who are concerned about the spread of the uh, uh, Omerian virus? Well, I think one thing is that the, the variant virus is going to be with us much like the flu. So everybody has concerns, need to make personal choices, but we can't shut down all the time. And look, we just went through seven home games with 80,000 people. We had concerts. We had, you know, people still going to basketball games, people still gathering here and there. You just got to be smart. The best thing I can tell everybody is can continue to go get vaccinated, get your booster, and let, let's, let, let's march on. Let's don't let this dictate our lives.